tell me about your women. But I have been keeping company with a number of nice ladies. This is Brenda. Wow. She's not allowed to wear clothing when she's over. Kinky? No, she's a kleptomaniac. Smart. You're surrounded by people who care about your day. What more do you want? I envy your life. I envy yours. I wish I, wish I had your life. Neither of these guys expect to switch bodies, but there's some kind of crazy cosmic clap that happens the next day. Poof. I'm him, he's me, and we've got a problem. I miss I'm Dave. We switch bodies. Oh, my God! So did you look at how each other was playing each of the characters, or did you decide to just do your own thing? A little of both, right? Mm. I, I don't know whether, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if we've done a good job. We might lose our, our, our acting union cards after this film, but uh, all we did was we wanted to make sure that we played these characters in such a way that it was funny, and uh, we didn't want to do impersonations of one another because that would be a lot of acting, and no one comes to these movies to see acting. They want to <laughs> laugh. Yeah. Because they were so good at playing their characters, you know, I knew who Ryan was just by the way he would walk into the room. It was very specific, and then, that's a testament to how good Ryan and Jason are at what they do, because they thoroughly uh, created their characters so uh, specifically that you could really tell the difference right away. This is called a suit. You wear one every day, along with a necktie, black, not white socks. Dress shoes, not shower sandals. Please, of course. These Underwear. Are awful. Oh, come on! No, 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 no more commando. Mitch, you're a grown ass man. Put them on. So, Ryan, if you woke up in Jason's body, what would be the first thing you would do? I would just say, Probably "Hi, honey, I'm home." Who's why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd say hell to the yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've just crossed over into all sorts of inappropriate. <laughs> Well, Jason, if you woke up in Ryan's body and it happened to be a press day, uh -huh. would you mess with him a little bit? Maybe starting some rumors? Uh, sure, rumors are fun. Confirming some rumors. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't know. I'd spend I'd spend uh, any amount of time in Ryan's life uh, that I possibly could. The, the man is, is, is internationally loved. Would you like to swap into some Australian bodies? Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Maybe maybe 15 pounds of grunt in me. I can't do 30, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you could swap into the body of Brian Reynolds or Jason Bateman for a day, who would you choose and what would be the first thing you would do? I think I would be Ryan and I would just look at myself naked in the mirror. <laughs> just look at your abs. I'd just stare at myself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The first time in your life, you're good looking, you're single. What's going on between us? It's crazy, but what's even more crazy is not to use it. Have we met? Hold on, you two guys should go out. Wait, what? How do you like working with Dave? I actually used to have kind of a crush on Dave. Oh, no, you didn't. No, but he's married, so obviously. Right, obviously, <laughs> obviously, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Super married. What do I tell Jamie when she wants to have sex tonight? You're not having sex with my wife, Mitch. She comes to me like a hurricane. A guy can only withstand so much. I am gonna ruin her. Oh my god. I need to cool it on the Thai food. Oh my god.